Assalamualaikum and good morning everyone. So, how are you guys? This is actually my first video um, doing a YouTube for my essential oil. So I just applied velour in my chin, in my jaw. Um, I got these tips from um, Jen O'Sullivan. Um, she says that Jen O'Sullivan is a very famous uh, Young Living uh, user who's been on it for more than 10 years. And she shared that every time when she needed to put an oil, she will put it nearest to the body function that he, she wants to target. Like when she speaks, she wants to put it on, his tr on her throat or on her jaw lines. And when she is having stomach ache, she will put it an, um, on the belly button, on the belly side, instead of diffusing it. So that's how I got my tips. So today, we're going to talk about two things. Because I want to make this video short. Um, just two things. First one is, what is essential oil? So, essential oil is the most powerful part of the plant. It's just like our blood system that carries nutrients, carries oxygen in order for us to live, in order for us to survive. So it's just same as the, for the plants. So in one single essential oil, it contains more than 100 chemical compounds, okay? So it's very complex. It's a complex chemical situation here. We're not gonna go there, don't worry. But um, basically, essential oil comes from any parts of the plant. It can be the flowers, it can be the bushes, it can be the roots, raisins, the, uh, the, the, the fruits itself. So it depends on what kind of essential oil and how they are extracted from. And the most famous way to extract the oil from the plant is using a distillation method, which is they use a heat, a low temperature heat, to heat up the plant and it will produce essential oil and water. And then they will, um, they will travel through a tube to a condenser, which will leave them cool down. And then the oil and the water will be separated. And that's how we get the essential oil from. Okay, so that's number one. And number two is how to use essential oil. Basically, there are three ways. Okay, the first one is um, to use a diffuser, which is a very, very common way to diffuse uh, to use essential oil um, the goodness of using essential oil through diffuser is that when you're asleep you're still getting the therapeutic benefits from it okay um, and then it helps in many ways for my case I sleep better with a diffuser and my favorite blend is cedarwood and lavender or peace and calming it's um, it's a very great essential oil to relax and another beneficial for me using a diffuser is when my son is sick or when anyone of us is sick in this house uh, I like to diffuse it at night so that um, everybody sleeps better um, like when somebody is having a, a sore throat or a flu or runny nose so RC helps a lot or raven or eucalyptus radiata so these are the three oils that I use when somebody is down with flu. Okay, so that's the first one. The second way of using essential oil is to um, apply, rub, uh, apply it topically. So apply topically, there's uh, precautions for that because um, you will never know uh, whether your skin is sensitive to that essential oil or not uh, if you never apply it. So for the first time, if you're using this, the oil, it's advisable for you to do a patch test. And if you're okay with that, you can continue to use it. But if you're not, you're better uh, dilute it first with any carrier oil such as olive oil, coconut oil, or uh, V6 from Young Living. Uh, it's a vegetable oil that contains many, many kinds of carrier oil. And that's number two. Number three is through ingestion. Ingestion is you can drink it, um, you can only eat essential oil that is labeled with vitality, which is approved by the FDA administration. Uh, 
because it's very important that we know which essential oil and which which and uh, which essential oil that we can or cannot ingest so that's number three I hope you guys learned something from my video um, I'll see you guys again soon bye bye